Since the time of the early Buddhist kings, Tibetan monks have practiced analytic meditation, where they memorize and then attempt to deepen their understanding of the text. They do this by joining in debate pits, led by a senior monk known as the Challenger. And he is sitting on, you know, on, a, on a mat or a cushion, and he poses questions to a defender. And the defender must uh, come up with a logical argument to, to explain um, the content. Professor David Fresco from Kent State University is studying the brainwaves of the monks to better understand the neuroscience behind these exercises. Are they activating the same parts of their brain when they are debating? And if they do bring their brains into this harmony or synchrony, are we seeing a, a more successful uh, resolution of the debate? Fresco and his research team traveled to India for the study and attended a meeting with the Dalai Lama. They put EEG caps on two monks per session and time-locked their brain activation patterns to see if they were bringing their brains into synchrony. A third monk helped translate in English. And lo and behold, um, there, there did seem to be a correspondence in the brain activation in moments where the monk thought that there was something more harmonious and, and less synchrony when the monks were uh, uh, more discordant in what they were saying. Fresco and his team are working to refine and better validate their assessment approach. They're planning at least two more trips to India with the hopes of taking the findings and making them relevant to American students in areas such as growing vocabulary, recalling math facts, controlling emotions, and improving logical skills. If there's a way for us to, to understand um, you know, the active ingredients of this and find ways of making it uh, relatable to, to a Western um, student, maybe their applications in helping people overcome emotional disorders too. You know? So these are all things that we're curious about and, and what you know, inspires us to go over to India.